Good morning. If you took the time to click on my video, I just wanted to say thank you. So let's get right into it. Today I wanted to film like a full day of eating on what is it to be in a day of a beginning competitor and a fitness coach. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my morning routine, my meals, and my workouts. So let's go. So first thing first, before doing my morning cardio, I do about an hour every day right now. So I'm taking one scoop of the Slim Burner uh, by Nova Pharma. This flavor is so good, so I mix it with about this amount of water and I'm all set to do my cardio. And step number two is to give some treats to the coquette. <laughs> So this machine, the Stairmaster, is literally the best investment I have ever done. If ever you are trying to lose weight, I highly recommend you getting a Stairmaster. And I got this one second hand, so it was a really good price, but this is just uh, little tips and tricks. If you want to lose weight, get a Stairmaster at your own place. So we're done. I did 350 calorie. It took me about 50 minutes. Sweaty. I love this belt. It doesn't help you lose fat, but it helps you sweat the So check out Sweet Sweat on Amazon. So for my vacuum, I also have a vacuum coach. So everything that I'm doing is following by her. Her name is Karina. If ever you can check her on Instagram. And every time I do my vacuum, my dogs can see. Cardio, I put around two eyes of this is by the way, this is lemon. So I already press my lemon and put it in the freezer. So I put two like that with hot water with one scoop of glutamine, and I drink that before my breakfast. Then you just mix it like that. Voila. So what I'm doing right now is kind of like an oatmeal pancake. So I mix up my oatmeal in the blender first, then I add around like a half cup of water, a little bit less because this is only 30 grams of oatmeal. Then you mix it up again in the blender, put it on the pan, and then it does the oatmeal pancake. <laughs> My breakfast, I've been eating the same thing as been 10 weeks. In prep, I always eat the same thing, there's no option. So it is egg whites and my oatmeal pancake. I also take my supplement all from Chef Santé. So you can also check my link in the description below for 10% off. So if you didn't know, I'm 11 and 10 weeks out out of my next show. The last time I stepped on stage was a year and a half ago. So I'm super excited to be back on stage. So it's gonna be a brand new package and it's also a different kind of prep. So I'm super, super excited to be prepping for this show. Also, I wanted to add that what you're gonna see today that I am eating, it is not sustainable. It is my diet for my prep. So don't confuse that with the diet that I give to my clients. It is really just me in prep. So the fact that I have no option, it is just that I choose to have no option and that I eat always plain is also a choice. So just to let you know, it is not sustainable. So don't copy what I'm doing. I'm just here to show you guys what a bikini prep looks like. So in prep, I only put stevia and black coffee as my coffee. And trust me, your girl love sugary like coffee. Like in off season, it's like full of almond milk with sugar-free vanilla syrup and the chocolate flavor pie by Believe Supplement. Like I really love the taste of good sugary coffee. But in prep, why I do only stevia is just because I want to make sure that my digestion is on point, that I'm not holding any kind of water because using artificial sweeteners for me is making me hold water. And I just want to make sure that I am not adding craving and like just cutting out my coffee has reduced my craving so much. Like since the prep I started, I'm not really craving bad food or stuff like that. Plus the goal of prep is to get to your best shape possible. So for me, cutting out those stuff will bring me at a better version of myself on stage. So this is why I'm going, like I said earlier, like cold turkey, I'm not using any kind of sauce, stuff like that, because I want to make sure that my game is the best possible. It is easy, absolutely not, but will it be worth it? Absolutely. Just wanted to remind you guys that adding a good morning routine is extremely important to reach your fitness goal. So like for me, I'm doing my morning cardio every morning, then my stretching, foam roller, vacuum, then I eat all my meals back to back. 
and then after that cold shower and normally before doing my cardio I will put affirmation because normally I'm not filming a YouTube video but that's pretty much it for my morning routine we're up to meal number two it is typical bodybuilding meal chicken cucumbers and rice and then after that we're gonna eat meal number three as the pre-workout meal number three it is lettuce jasmine rice chicken and olive oil and of course pink salt i love this meal before the gym because it keeps me full i hate being hungry at the gym so i made sure that my biggest meal is before the gym I wanted to show you guys how I work with my clients because there's plenty of different approaches you can take. So I do macros, I do custom meal plan, bodybuilding, weight loss. So there's a couple of different stuff that I am doing. And when it comes to the diet, this is what I have the most question about. So let's start with all of my clients will fill up their food preference. This is my food preference, so obviously it is not done. But everything is there. Fruit, vegetables, meat, a fishy food, name it eggs, dairy, cheese, vegan. So I also do vegan, pescatarian, so whatever is your type of eating, I can do. Also grain, all the carbs, and also fat. So I know exactly what the client love and don't love. So it's super easy to make a diet sustainable and that the clients will actually enjoy eating. So that is the goal, that the clients enjoy what they are eating so they can love what they eat and keep reaching their fitness goal. So I wanted to show you guys what I take before the gym, during the gym, and after the gym. So before the gym, I take one scoop of pump addict. This one is from Belly Supplement, of course, from Shop Santi. And the flavor is grape. I love this one. Gives you a great pump. And the fact that there's no caffeine, you can sleep like a baby at night. And then during the workout, I take one scoop of EAAs. This one is from Rummy Sport as well from Chop Santé and the flavor is watermelon tastes really good and I, I use this one during my workout so I have like more EAAs uh, I love to have like more water of EAAs during my workout and then post workout I take one scoop of isolate protein this one is cookie and cream from Chop Santé as well at Chop Santé there's also a frag they call so you can literally choose all of the protein as you want you can take one pound two pound etc so if you want to just try it out it is super uh, good to try because you can just take like one pound try it if you don't like it mm. if you like it you can also take five pound afterwards check the link in the bio also post workout i add one scoop of glutamine this one is from all mag shop santé and then one scoop of creatine from the leaf supplement from shop santé as well so that's pretty much what i take before during and after my workout <laughs> might be strong but not strong enough jesus christ that's <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> I nope. need your help. Okay, <laughs> try it. Foot. <laughs> Day done I did six exercise of glutes and uh, we did about four sets each around 10 to 15 reps each set and right now I'm gonna do my protein shake 
So we just got back from the gym and I just eat uh, my post-workout meal. It was oatmeal, I forgot to film it. And then after that, it was chicken and rice. So this is what I eat after the gym. And thank you so much if you have watched till here. I truly appreciate you. And I just wanted to talk real quick about the prep. My prep is going very well. So it's the first time that my calories are actually that high at 10 weeks out. And I'm doing only 350 calorie of cardio. Normally it's like 500 already. So I'm actually super excited. And my energy is starting to go a little bit lower, but I feel like this is normal at 10 weeks out. And yeah, I think I will be doing another video. And if you have anything you want me to do a video or you want me to add or talk about, just comment below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.